Hello and welcome everyone. It is time for Jim Comics Top Picks for New Comic Book Day this upcoming Wednesday, June 5th, 2019. New Comic Book Day, best day of the week. Oh, I love it. It's Christmas every week. So good. Um, this week's going to be a little lighter, which is all right with me because my wallet, as uh, you all know, gets a little heated up. So <laughs> it's, it's going to be good, but there's some good stuff as usual coming out this week. Um, thank you to all my subscribers on YouTube and followers on Instagram. You're all awesome. Really appreciate your comments and the time you take to send me comments. Watch my videos. You're all awesome. So thank you so much. Um, we're all part of this big comic community and it's great. Going to talk about um, what I'm looking at this week. My top covers, top picks as usual. I got a few other books I'm going to talk about mixed in here. Um, and I'm going to end on Batman Last Night number one, which I didn't get a chance to read before I did my um, haul video a couple days ago. And it was really good, but I, I want to talk about it because there's some really interesting stuff in that. But anyways, a couple books I didn't show in my last video that showed up in the mail. Um, I didn't get them when they came out, but uh, You're the Villain, number one. I got the 1 for 100 Cheetah variant and the 1 for 250 Lex Luthor variant. I do not have the Batman Who Laughs cover, the 1 for 500. But, um, and I wasn't going to get this one. I, both of these I got at really good prices, so I couldn't pass them up. Um, and with Lex Luthor um, kind of becoming Apex Lex Luthor in the next few issues of Justice League, I just wanted to get that one. It's really good. And this whole year, the villain number one, that uh, 25 center is kind of the start of that whole thing. So I just had to get it. But anyways, uh, I just wanted to show you those because they're, if you come across those for a decent price, I'd, I'd recommend picking them up. Don't pay a lot for them, but I mean, I paid uh, $13 for the Cheetah one and 15 for the other one, which is pretty reasonable. So couldn't really pass it up. So we'll get into what I'm looking at this week. Like I say, it's a pretty light week. I've only got two in, or three independent titles that I got from Alterna. I got Blood Realm number two, just the one cover. Um, I really like that series. It's a low print run, and it's um, the art is a little. Um, it's a, I want to say it's a little rough, but it's I, I like it. It's a really good story, and it's just cool. And it's a buck fifty. You can't go wrong. So it's really good. Um, Robert Geronimo is the artist and the writer on that one. I like his stuff, and I've showed you the original art I got for his stuff too. So, anyways, that's it from Alterna from Image. I got two from them. I got Thumbs number one. Um, it sounds like an interesting story, and I try to get all the Image number ones because you never know. So a lot of those get picked up. So I'm grabbing that, and then Walking Dead one one ninety two. This looks to be a big one this week. So um, not only is it a bigger issue. But uh, Kirkman said there's a big, um, big reveal in this, so I would definitely, well, he said it's a big issue, and he bolded the bigs, or capitalized the big in his tweets, so <laughs> yeah, pick that one up. There's a regular cover, and then there's also, it looks like there's a, um, a blank cover B, which is weird. They don't usually do blanks, but uh, I'm probably just going to get cover A for that one. So that's it for my independence. From DC, I only have two titles from DC that I'm picking up this week. There's Deceased number two, there's a regular cover, which is okay, then there's a really nice Matina, which is cover B, and the one I really like is uh, the Putri Horror cover for um, cover C. I love her artwork, and that's a really nice cover. That one I'm definitely going to try to get. So if you can get that one, they're all regular price covers, so there's no uh, limited variants or anything, but uh, that Putri one's nice. I like that. <clears throat> and a big one from DC is Justice League 25. I was just talking about Lex Luthor. Um, and it looks like he basically blew himself up in uh, the DC Year of the Villain, and it looks like Perpetua's uh, recreated him, and he's going to come back as his apex Lex Luthor and everything. And in this one, he sends out, it sounds like he sends out an offer to the uh, to the universe, to all the villains. So you're going to learn kind of what the, it sounds like you're going to learn what the offer is, so I definitely recommend picking up uh, this issue. It's a bigger issue too, being 25, it's going to a little uh, a little thicker issue. So definitely pick up Justice League 25. There's two covers for that one. So I'm going to probably cover A. I like cover B. Uh, it's not bad, but I'll probably oh, I'll probably get it. What am I saying? <laughs> yeah, you know me. I'll end up having like 14 different covers. But anyways, there's only two. So that's it from DC. From Marvel, uh, Black Cat number one, as you all know, is out this week. There's a ton of covers. I'm only going to show a few of them. Um, there's from Marvel, there's, oh, what do we got? Probably almost 10 covers. And then there's a gazillion um, aftermarket exclusive variants and everything else. So you guys pick what you want. I'm probably just going to grab one. Um, I really like to actually, the, for the one I like the best is um, the Art Germ cover. There's a trade and a virgin coming from Marvel. Those are both really nice. I, it's just a gorgeous cover. And man, does she look hot on that cover. <laughs> man, oh man. 
anyways uh so yeah and he was black cat number one is out this weekend like i said there's just a boatload of covers deadpool number 13 is out uh two covers for that one i really like cover b on that one it's just it's a really nice looking cover so that is one uh, i'm gonna try and get for sure and i really like deadpool scotty young is doing a really good job of this you know i was never i would kind of sporadically buy deadpool stuff but um since Scotty, and I, I didn't buy every issue all the way through, but I really like the way he's writing it, and the art's pretty good in it. Um, it's So I'm, I'm going to keep picking it up. It's it's And the new characters keep showing up in this. And it looks like Goodnight is coming back in a few issues from now, so he did not die, and I'm glad because that character, I think, has got some legs. Um, Guardians of the Galaxy Annual Number 1 is out this week as well. It looks like there's five different covers for that. I don't, by the way, I don't have all the images for all the covers. I'll show you what I have, but uh, there's, uh, I think, three regular priced and two limited variants for uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Annual Number One. There may be some aftermarket ones as well, but uh, I'll probably just grab cover A. I like Donnie Cates writing. I pick at least one copy of everything he puts out, so that one definitely I'm getting. Uh, Incredible Hulk Last Call is out. Three covers for that one. Cover A and B. Uh, I believe a regular price in C is a limited variant. I'm probably just going to grab again, grab cut one copy, cover A. Savage Avengers number two is out. I've enjoyed. I enjoyed the first one, and there's a whole bunch of covers for this one too. Boy, Marvel sure puts out a boatload of covers when they do when they do comics. Uh, and I, you know, I can only recommend. I as I've said several times, I think cover A long term is your best bet if you're going to grab one. And then if there's a out of the other variants, if there's a cover you really like, pick that up. Because um, you know what, if, if it's a cover that's really stunning and you think it's gorgeous, then a lot of other people are probably thinking, thinking the same thing. So uh, I'll show you the covers that I have images for, but cover A is the one I'm probably getting for that. War of the Realms number five, again, another boatload of covers. I'm just going to get cover A. I'll show you what I have. It's It's been a decent story. I This... I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in comments. To, to me, this um, this event has not lived up to all the hype, in my opinion. Anyways, I think it's been good, and there's been some good new um, characters that have shown up, which you always get in these events. You always get some new characters and some some big things happen. But for me, this whole War of the Realms event just hasn't been what I was expecting. So, but it's been good, like I say, but not quite as ex exciting as I thought. Uh, War of the Realms, Journey into Mystery. There's two covers for that. There's a regular price cover. There is a limited um, cover B, which I like because it's got Thori, the the murder dog, on there with with uh, Owen's daughter kind of sitting between his legs. And I really think by the end of this one, she's gonna you're gonna see her full powers come to come to fruition. So I'm gonna keep going with that one. And last one for Marvel is War of the Realms, New Agents of Atlas, number three. Two covers again for that one. Uh, we've had a couple of new, well, a whole bunch of new characters show up in the first two. I don't know if anybody new is showing up in this, but I'm going to grab a couple copies of cover eight anyways because uh, the first one's done really well. <coughs> that is it for my books this week. Like I say, it's kind of a lighter week. So for my, uh, for my covers, uh, Deceased number two. I really like uh, the Matina cover B. It's, it's a nice cover. I also, but I really like the Putri cover, which is cover C, that uh, horror. I think that's uh, Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street uh, homage. That looks uh, really cool. I like that one. Deathstroke 44 cover B. That's a really nice cover. I like that one. Um, and I mentioned Black Cat. There's two covers. It's basically the same cover. One is Trade and one is The Virgin, but it's the Art Germ cover. That is just a gorgeous cover. I love that one. She looks really good on that. And then Deadpool 13 cover B. It's the Granoff cover. I really like that cover. It's just, it's just kind of stunning. It's really nice. And then um, Iron Man 12 cover B, the Battle Lines variant. That's a really nice cover too. So those are my, those are my old boy covers this week. My picks this week, I've got uh, three picks and one um, honorable mention. So my picks are Justice League 25. Like I say, Lex Luthor makes his offer to uh, the universe and the villains. We'll see what that is and what comes of it. And he is going to be coming up as the Apex Lex Luthor. Solicitation says 2728, but you may get a glimpse of him before that. As you know, you may get a cameo or a shadowy figure or something. So um, I recommend going with Justice League all the way through. It's been really good. Walking Dead 192. Um, Kirkman has said this is a big issue, so I am going with what he said, and I've definitely got that one on order. Uh, Blood Realm number two, another good one. I, it's a low print run. 
Uh, I like the story. It's a dark fantasy, and those um, those do well. We'll see, because I mean, the first run, the number one, went to third printing, which is almost unheard of for Alterna Comics. So uh, that's one I'm definitely picking up. And my honorable mention is Thumbs Number One from Image. It's uh, first issue of a new series. May or may not do anything, but uh, like I say, I try to pick all the number ones up because you never know. So, anyways, that is it for my uh, books this week. And my picks and my covers, like I say, it's a lighter week for sure. Um, last week, um, I talked about Pearl, or last video, I should say Pearl. And by now, you all know that um, Bendis tweeted out that that looks like it's being an option. The price on that has gone up pretty high. And while we're on the top, and that's the Jinx World thing. So just a couple other books. I'm sure you're well aware of these, but in case you aren't, these are ones that um, are kind of um, part of that same sort of world. So... If you come across them, if you don't have them, I'd recommend picking them up because you just never know. Uh, that's cover A for cover number one. Cover That's cover B. And then cover C is a blank cover. So those are the three covers that uh, I got for cover. And then there's Scarlet number one, which is a book. Um, I, I don't know. I thought it was all right. But I only grabbed number one for that. I only grabbed the number one for cover as well. So, But those are the number ones. If There's a couple other covers for this, but I only grabbed the one. And with the Godzilla movie out right now, this is a book I talked about, oh geez, I don't remember when it was, beginning of the year or something. I just I just mentioned that it looked like they were going to do a really good job with this Godzilla movie. And uh, a couple people on Instagram and tweet, uh, sent me a message and said it's really good. And it looks like um, they may be doing a Godzilla King Kong movie down the road. So these Godzilla movies are going to be around for a while. Uh, especially if they're making a lot of money, which it looks like this one is going to because it's done really well. So this is, um, well, it's your first published U.S. comic uh, with Godzilla. Godzilla was published in Japan in the 50s. But it's your first U.S. actual published by one of the big companies. There was a four-page promo that came out for uh, one of the movies in 76. Uh, Godzilla versus, I uh, wrote it down here, what the hell was it, Megalon? Um so it was a four page promo they just gave out at the movie theater so that was technically your first u.s published comic but this or comic i should say but it was a promo this was your actual first comic book so and it's pretty reasonable it's in the 50 dollars range for for like a high grade copy mid mid to high grade copy so they're not hard to find and not super expensive but um if you can get it, it's a good one because i think godzilla is sticking around and it's just a cool cover and i love godzilla so if you like godzilla that might be a good one to get and another one, I talked about the first appearance of Cherie last video, or last week anyways. And this uh, Black Panther number one is the first appearance of Okoye, or Okoye. And um, she's, if you watch the Avengers movie, which I'm sure you've all seen, there's a, that whole scene where all those female characters kind of banded together. Uh, and it's funny that Cherie was part of that, and so was Okoye. And I'll show you some more down the road as we go, but... Uh, that's another good one to get if you can find it. You should be able to find this from 98. You'll probably find some of those in some back issue bins and, and everything else because it's one of those ones that not a lot of people bought. And I just want to finish off with um, Batman uh, Last Night on Earth. I showed this in my last haul video, but I didn't hadn't read it at the time. And it was really good. Uh, I really enjoy the Snyder and Capullo when they team up. Man, you get a good you get a really good book. The artwork is really good all the way through. The covers are nice. Um, the writing is really good. And it's a really interesting take on Batman. And it's funny, when I started reading this, there's a narration at the beginning. And you learn right at the end that it's actually the Joker who's talking. And in there, I'm going to put an image on the screen. If you haven't read it, I'm just it's not really a spoiler. Um, but there is a new character that's... It looks like you may be getting a new character called Omega. Um... Because in that it says, um, there's one little phrase, it says, Then in the mayhem a new evil rose in your old city, calling himself Omega, the worst yet. So uh, you got you get kind of a cameo of him. He's just kind of in the shadows in here. So you do get, if it is a new character, it is a first appearance cameo, but only a cameo. Um, but just be aware there was an Omega that was uh, made a first appearance in Superboy and the Legion of Superheroes number 250 back in 79. And he was an embodiment all, of all the hate that ever existed in the universe. So it's possible that this Omega you're getting here is an embodiment of all the hate and stuff. But it sounds like 
it's a new character um, that was even from Gotham City. So we'll see where that goes. And it would be really interesting. I don't think it is going to be this, but in issue 38 of Batman, you got uh, Tom King introduced that new Dark Bruce. And wouldn't it be funny if he turns out to be um, this Omega? Uh, I doubt it is. I doubt very much it is. I think it's going to be somebody else totally, but uh, it would just be kind of cool if that's who it was because that... Um, that was a cool. I, I I know I've been crapping on Tom King lately just because the last few issues of Batman has sucked, but his earlier stuff was really good, um, and I really liked that story with that Dark Bruce. And he came back in issue sixty one as well. So, and now he's been sent to Arkham. So it'd be kind of interesting if if he becomes an embodiment of hate towards Batman and and becomes the next uh, this Omega character. But I don't know. We'll find out down the road. But uh, anyways, I just want to say that this Batman Last Night on Earth. If you didn't pick it up. I highly recommend you pick up a copy. I know it's a square bound and it's a little pricier, but um, there's only the two covers. And I picked a, I got, I just, my shop had one more of these and I called them and I asked them to put it aside me because I grabbed another one. Just, uh, it's really good. And the next cover uh, with, with the, the black cover with Bane and that creepy dude on his back is just a wicked ass cover. I'm going to put an image of that on the screen too. If you haven't seen it for uh, issue number two, Boy, does that ever look good. That is definitely an old boy cover. So, <laughs> anyways, we're going to end on that. Take care, everyone. Happy on.